Panzer Paladin. All right, hey everyone, Wonderbots here, and welcome to Panzer Paladin. It hey. is, at best described, Mega Man crossed with Shovel Knight, but more on the Mega Man style level design and Shovel Knight style combat. Uh, and with uh, Mecha. Yeah, with Mecha. 80s style anime appearance to, to the characters, at least. Yep. Oh, yeah. It is unapologetically 80s, and I kind of love it. Mm -hmm. uh, so this is made by Tribute Games, the people that made... Uh, Mercenary Kings and Flint Hook. Both were fantastic games, but they were both... Well, okay. Mercenary Kings is perfectly fine. I've been actually recording that with my brother, and that'll eventually hit YouTube in some way, shape, or form. Uh, and Flint Hook, I've already got a series on, but I had to stop because it was just too dang hard. And so, what we're going to do is start a new game, story mode. Oh, right, I should show off Blacksmith. What is Blacksmith? You can make your own swords. Uh, so... Oh. Yeah, so, for example, I can just... Wait, are you making the pixels? Yep. So you can oh. just kind of draw it in. Yeah, ain't that cool. Fun. I'm not going to do it. I, like, I'm just going to chuck this thing for the time being. Uh, but you can absolutely just make your own weapons if you want to. And when you do, they're uploaded to, effectively, uh, Tribute Games and Servers, and they will go through all of the swords submitted, pick their favorites, and actually input them into the game. And you can also just have it that it pulls from everything, but I'm not going to do that because that's risky, because who knows what's going to get posted. <laughs> or you can just have it that only pulls from your own, which is really cool. So if you want to, if you want to make your own weird garbage, you can. But if you don't want to see the weird garbage, uh -uh. that's okay. There are settings so you don't have to. But I, I'm only going to do that if people really want me to continue with this game. And because I'm a filthy casual, we're playing on easy. I just never played Nintendo hard games, and this is absolutely in that category. I played so Mega Man X. Would be too difficult. Yeah, I played a ton of Mega Man X when I was a kid, but like I tried playing Mega Man X recently, and it wrecked me. It was not fun. Uh, we were at the Retro Game Bar in Portland, and it was just like, "Hey, let's uh, let's play some, uh, let's play some Mega Man," and I was just like straight up trying to beat Stink Million, and I couldn't do it. Uh, admittedly, though, it seems like it's a little too easy at the moment. You're I, well, all that's of these because I, I've played this level like four times already. A uh, couple times at PAX, and then, uh, you know, earlier today. So I know exactly. Uh, it's a very predictable game. Speedrunners are going to love this because they're going to know exactly what to do, where to do it. When to strike. Yeah, exactly. And where all the secrets are. Speaking of secrets. Ah. Yep. Uh, but it's it's even got a speedrun mode. I'm just gonna ignore him. No, it looks like there are these little goblins. Yep. Interesting. It's telling me I can throw my weapon to, uh... It did look like there was one enemy in that villainous ensemble that resembled a goblin king or... Possibly, yeah. A goblin leader. Oh! Yep, you can hop out. Alright, what am I doing? Oh, what was that game that we had played that was another mech fighter where there was a section where the characters could exit their their craft? Mm, oh, uh, Hardcore Mecha? Yeah, yeah. Hardcore Mecha. There we go. Oh, interesting. And so now you have an exosuit as opposed to a mech suit. It's the same thing. It's the same thing? Oh, yeah, okay. It, it never is. mind. It's, it's teleported. Yeah. For a moment, it looked like it had a different helmet, but no, it's the same. And you have to sacrifice your weaponry to save, which ah. is... Oh, well, and now you have a club? Yep. Yeah, so I have a, a club and a sword, and there's a hockey stick. You can carry four weapons at once. So now I got four, actually. Uh, they also have their own spells. Okay, this, this is a tougher enemy. Tougher-ish. I think the difficulty just makes enemies have less health, which really isn't that necessary for most of the regular enemies. Uh... But there's two reasons why I wanted to play an easy difficulty. Mm -hmm. We have a limited number of lives and boss fights. Oh, and is this the kind of game where your li when you lose all your lives, you yep. get a game over and you have very to start potentially. from the very beginning? Yep. There's also a uh, parry system, kind of. If you heard the pudding when the uh, the flying gremlin thing was shooting at me, that's because it was... Oh, yep. a Wendigo. It's because they want to take away my sword, so I'd have to actually learn this. Ouch. Eh, Whoa. Not that big of a deal. What was that chain reaction? Also so you can break a weapon by holding both triggers, and it does like a big uh, super shot, shot spell. 
Yeah, so notice how I'm not taking damage? Yeah, well, That's you have a shield. Because it's hitting my shield. Mm -hmm. The shield actually matters. But yeah, you'll, you'll see why I'm playing on easy mode once we get to the boss. And or any other level. I just, I have practice on this one. <laughs> Oh, can you go up the elevator? Yep. Or not, uh, not elevator, bleh, ladder. There we go. <laughs> so that just recharges the paladin. Uh, so other quick bit about this game before we go too far uh, is this is the one of the uh, one of the games that I absolutely destroyed at PAX a couple of years ago. Destroyed? Yeah, like I blue screened their computer. Oh. That was running the game. I felt so bad. Uh oh. It was like the can the. The, uh, the Did convention hadn't even started yet, and I, like, walk over during the press hour, and I'm like, yeah, let's just, let's just play some, uh, some pa Panzer Paladin. You know, I love tribute games, <laughs> and it was like, oh, gosh, almost immediately, I think at this point even, I, like, there was this supposed to be a dragon enemy that was from a later level, walked up to it, and the game just hung Screen went blue and the developers are like, oh, that's not supposed to happen. Also, buy Wendigo. Wait, what? Who who threw that spear? What? The horseman. He... He wanted to battle you so fiercely that he killed an ally? Unless... The Wendigo is just a monster that but was crafted. This is not going great. Oh, can't do much of that. Well, that's just mean. I wonder why they would fake you out with the, the Wendigo and this guy. I mean, maybe it's just supposed to show that this one is more formidable and also ruthless. I honestly don't know what to do about that one. <laughs> oh. Would you have had to have... Oh, oh, he's doing a charge. Ah, uh, yeah, he does a low strike. Ah. Can you... I'm just not used to his tells. Can you... Ow. Well, that's dumb. You broke your only weapon? I was trying to use the uh the blast move. Oh, hi. You can still fight? Got him! Haha! -ha! Oh, but the poor paladin. <laughs> I didn't know I could actually fight with her. That's rad. Oh well, if you notice there's a tiny health bar to the left of the panzers. Yeah, yeah for flame. Mm-hmm. Flame. And that is why, ladies and gentlemen, I play on easy mode. <laughs> because I'm actually terrible at these games. I just seem like I'm good sometimes. What happened out there? It's the end of the world! It's Halloween on Earth! Oh, Halloween on Earth. Halloween? Calm down, Edge. It's not the end. Surely there's a scientific explanation, Doctor. Director, the explanation is that the occult is real. And they're t they've trained uh, rained down on us. All over the world, satellites have tracked weapon-shaped meteors targeting ten sites around the globe. Energy readings tell us that these weapons act as portals for enemy troops and keep them pouring into the cities. These events have been described by the Pazuzu parchments hidden by Vatican VI. The forge will claim the Earth and produce spirit weapons. The cosmic war shall begin. We're doomed! Not yet. There's always a way. Let me go in, Director. Flame, you're a rescue mission android, not built for warfare. Wait, she's an android? Yep. Really? Yep. Huh. The world needs rescuing now, more than ever, and I'm the best chance that this world has got. Ain't that right, Grit? Did you click ahead? Nope. No? You just gotta be quick. Ah, all right. Affirmative. I have yet to see a, uh, to have a better co-pilot than you, human or otherwise. See? Ah! Ah! 
<laughs> your world is beyond rescue. Lay down your weapons or you will fall down to ours. I'm going to lay it down right into your beak. I'm coming for you and your little swords. Right on your beak. <laughs> so he is bird-like? Yeah, he had like a lizardy beak thing. Also, look at these bosses. So what kind of creatures do you think they are? That looks like a Mayan yeah. mummy. He's in Me Mexico. Mictlantlilil? Okay. Mictlantecotl? <laughs> Something like that? <laughs> the, <laughs> the font does not make it easy. Okay. Did Janos... Boy Jag. Boy. Boy Jag. Okay, it's like a snowman. Medusa. Medusa. Yes. Baba Yaga. Baba Yaga. That's Anubis. Anubis. Popobawa. Popobawa. Neon. It's wait. Gash. Gashwado. Do, do, wait no. Gashado Kuro. Kuro. Gashado yeah. Kuro. Yep. Okay. And the Horseman, which the horseman we've already beaten. Okay. Because I guess we started and in Canada. And then Lilith. Uh, so we also have the laboratory? Ah. Welcome, Flame. You can upgrade grit here by melting your unwanted spirit weapons. You have enough materials to take, make an upgrade. Melt down spirit weapons to permanently increase grit's energy by 50 units. That's... Is grit your sword? No, grit's the mech. The mech? Wait, grit is the mech? Yeah. So he isn't the Panzer Paladin? No. Interesting. Well, I think it's cute that Grit has its own AI. Yeah. And then... Hmm, hmm. That last upgrade used up most of your spirit weapons. Return with more weapons and we can see about further enhancements to Grit. Interesting. That's kind of cool. So... That's a good way of allowing for an upgrade system. Hopefully, maybe there's some, like, neat things that you also get. Maybe there isn't. Uh, I, as a huge Mega Man fan, I really love it when you have, like, a bunch of different things that you can unlock perks and abilities. Like, harder heads, dash, some other stuff. Maybe this game has that, maybe it doesn't. But I do love the fact that you can melt down spare weapons to give yourself more HP as kind of a means of... of smoothing up the difficulty for curve further. So if you want to grind, you can, but you don't have to. Mm -hmm. Anyway, let's just do Lilith. We'll just go down the list. Oh, look at that. I love, I love it. tributes. I like, like pixel art. Yeah, it's cute. they do pixel art like champions. Two arms. Get out of your taxi. Just... It's interesting oh. with limited color palettes, how they work everything out here. Okay, there's something about spells. I gotta figure this out. Pause mode, options. Hmm. Because I got spells. I wonder what button you'd use for it. Oh, what was that? That was me just throwing the weapon, like uh, a goon. Okay, well that's a, a dodge. Because, yeah, it says medium heal. Oh. Nope, that breaks it. Maybe they, it has to be charged up or something? Yeah. Okay, there's a little goblin. I'm gonna wait for... <laughs> They're all just going to okay, fall off the edge. Okay, then. Yeah, I don't really seem... Now, it looks like there's a durability bar, I believe. But I don't... I don't yeah, see I don't a spell know how bar. the spells work. Unless it's that little... Okay, you did acquire more weapons. So those little dots show you how many weapons you have currently on hand. Maybe you'll learn more about spells later. Yeah, and... probably after we beat a level. Mm -hmm. So while it's still in the UI, it's not accessible yet. Yep. I was just really curious about how it works. 
Oh, you have to move that box? No, you have to have a spear to break it. Notice the icon uh, on it? Ah, yeah. Well, coffee. <laughs> Another, oh, there's a spear oh. up there. So there is. Is it worth? Mm, well, he took some damage there. Whoa. Oh, and they, oh, yep. It's one of those traps. Okay, Ouch. not worth yeah, it. Definitely not worth it. Ooh, look at that plant. Oh, also, it's a uh, uses flames. Fire flower. Luckily, most of the enemies seem to die in one hit. Those look to be a, a cross between a pug and a frog. A frog? A frog? A frog? Probably a frog. <laughs> Or a pod. Ah. Not going the greatest for me. Or yeah. grid is. Near death. Is there any way to heal? Well, that sucks. Not unless you get to a checkpoint, or what else would you have to do? Uh, okay. Oh, no. Are they going to get dropped down? No, they're not heavy enough, apparently. Yep. There are certain things that uh, Flame can, like, drop. She can drop it. Or pop out. Oh, oh, this guy looks like he's a more formidable enemy. In fact, wasn't he one of the guys in the intro? Yeah. Maybe. So he's not necessarily a boss, but he's a higher level minion, perhaps. Those knights, the way that they walk, it makes them look like zombie knights. Yeah, they're very undeadish. Mm -hmm. They don't seem very bright. Also bad. Oh well, no. That's bad. What can Flame do on her own? Whip it. Whip it good. I think she also does not fall through. Oh, nope, oh, she does. Nope, she will. That's bad. Also, is that a is that healing down there? Yep, that would have been health. You know, if I had been absolutely terrible. Oh, is that your way through? Yep. Will you yeah, be able you to get the health canister in order to bring it to grit or no? Nope. Yes. Here's what the thing is. Yeah, I don't know what that canister... Oh, ouch. Yeah, I'm never very good at precise jumps. Like that. Yeah, and you're too small to wield any of the weapons that they're dropping. Yup. Puts me in a bit of a bad spot. I'm sure there's secrets of plenty I'm missing. Alright, here we go. This is just the subway station. Summon Paladin. Okay, so I still have all of the weapons that I had previously, at least. Mm-hmm. Looks like you'll have to sacrifice one of them. Yeah, I'll sack, sack this one. Boss fight already? I mean, it had wow. a big H banner. What? A horseman again? What? Oh, did he leave something for you because you vanquished him prior? What kind of sword is this? Did someone <laughs> make this? <laughs> yeah, that's absolutely. So I think the horse actually is. Uh. Huh. That took away a life. Yep. That was considered a death? Yep. Well, you still have the ridiculous sword. Sword frog. I gotta remember, I do have a double jump. Mm hmm. This thing has hella range. Probably the sparkles. I don't have any When hammers. people are using the. Sword maker, they're probably making the longest swords. Yep. Uh, which actually changes how the stats work. Uh, okay, maybe a, lo a longer sword would have some disadvantages, say. You attack slower with yeah, it. Yeah, attack speed. Yeah. Definitely. Though it still seems to be quite swift. Oh, I see how I'm supposed to get up there. Come for me, Frig.
There we go. Alright, up. Oh, be cautious about those. Oh! That little, that little guy's throwing daggers. Yep. There we go. I'm just taking every hit. Did that just allow you to pass all of them? And it looks like the goblin is throwing just above your head. I guess in that case, it means I can walk forward because I'm blocking. Mm-hmm. Might have to jump over to him while he's recharging his shots. Yep. Uh, he got hit once. Yeah, contact damage. Not my favorite. Good luck, Frig. <laughs> I believe in you. Oh. He, he jumps up and down. Guy. Yeah. I was expecting something else. Wow. That little spear goes down in a hurry. Oh, yep. Nice. It'll be interesting to see how they crafted the levels to depict each country. I mean, this is obviously a, a city. Notice how most of what we've been passing by have been restaurants and such. Because that's definitely burgers. But there was definitely a cafe for coffee. There was a pizza place. You know what I mean? Yep. Though I suppose there is a movie theater. There I will admit, I wish they had gone more sci-fi with it. I, I get that this is supposed to be kind of 80s-ish. But it's also very... going for the neon metropolis i think though it does look a little old school ah, 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 ah. wait what you had to you had to jump all the way across okay is that health for your pants yeah Paladin? it is okay thank goodness what's that cell yes yeah, I, I still don't know about that one yeah i think we oh we were supposed to hop out. You're supposed to hop all yeah, the way across. Yeah, there's the hooks. Oh, wait. Yeah, you're right. There are hooks, hooks that are glowing. What are these? What is this thing? Because it goes... Uh -uh. Every single time we go through. Hmm. Maybe it's a mini health for her? And because she's at full health, you can't use it? I noticed oh. that those always appear next to his health. Yeah, that would make plenty of sense. So it's interesting. There might actually be some instances where you want to get out of the paladin. Well, I mean, that was one of them. Mm -hmm. Closer than I wanted it to be. Uh-oh. Got it. Okay. Isn't it dicey? I keep seeing these repair things all over mm -hmm. the place, and I'm like, oh, maybe. But no. Repairs for you? Yeah. Nearby? Nah, it's repairs for cars. I guess there's no reason for me to waste my weapons on those. Hitting various enemies. Oh, look, there's an R. Yep. Up ahead. All right. Time to do this. H R. Oh, oh. There's Lilith. Hopefully I go back up to full health when I die. Because otherwise we're going to be in a, for a world of bad. Uh, yeah, she's one of those that has the clones. Nope. I mean, the one that fired at you is the only one that moved, so. Also, watch out for the acid or the flames. Yep. Okay, which... Are there any tells? Oh, yeah, that one. Did you see the tell? Oh, there I go. It was it was her preparing to throw a dagger. Well, I'm now considerably smaller, which is 
bad. You better watch out for those kisses. She's definitely supposed to be the succubus type. Yep, that one. What's she throwing in the air? More weapons? Or minions? Is she summoning some? Or would those just be noxious clouds? Oh, you found the right one. Oh, okay. Yep, don't get in the noxious cloud. Bah. Ah, those little hearts. Oh, that one. Luckily, I'm very small. Oh. oh. And very dead. Oh, you have three lives. Oh. At least you have full health, but you have no weapons. Well, she throws some weapons in the battle, right? I. Uh, well, we have well, one weapon on the, the ground. There's also the axe on the ground. I think the bugs might have weapons. I don't know. Oh, did you already lose that weapon? Oh, rest and weapon. Oh, you found the right Got one. Her. Oh, that heel kick. There we go. Oh. Dang it. Oh, the one on the far left. I'm aware. The one on the far, far right. Yep. The, the smoke the smoke cloud does damage you, right? Yep. I was just hoping I'd have just enough reach to punch over it. Third heart. Oh, she does have a couple dagger slashes. Might want to... Can you block those? Just hoping I can do enough damage to her before she wrecks me. Can flame destroy her on her own? We will oh. see. Oh! I really hate contact damage. Aww. <laughs> yep. And now you don't even have the axe. Nope. Then it's just punching time? I guess. Nope, that's the wrong button. Aha! What? Use some storage. Ah, nice. You couldn't have blocked that? I tried. Watch out for the above. Yeah. That falchion does a lot of damage, or whatever you're, you're wielding. Is it a. What kind of sword is it? Ow. Uh, it was called an officer sword, I believe. Ah, all right. Still wish I knew how to cast spells. I find it interesting that they put Lilith in the Americas, considering she's originally biblical in origin. In some tellings, she's supposed to be the first wife of Adam, who was apparently too rebellious and didn't respect him or God or something and was cast out. But now she seems to be most often portrayed as a demon, which makes sense. Got her. Aww. I did break the sword in the end, but that's okay. Mm -hmm. Oh, break sword first spell. Oh, that might be the case. Oh, what's that weapon? Dunno. Is that the special weapon? Oh, one of the spirit weapons? Yeah. It looks like maybe the, the one of the really fancy ones. It looks like the one from the opening. Did, did you see that? By breaking a weapon, you released its magic spell. A holy blessing can remove the curse of flaming burst can incinerate your enemies. 
So I guess that's it, yeah. Ah. You have enough weapons to upgrade Grit's energy capacity. Visit the laboratory. Probably worth it. Welcome back, Flame. Want me to take a look at Grit? You have enough materials to make an upgrade. Melt down spirit weapons to permanently increase Grit's energy by 50 units. The only problem is, I'm not sure if I want to use up Lilith's Poignard. Then again, oh. I don't care. I'll see if I can avoid it. I can't. Oh, you need all those spirit points? Not all of them. There we go. This way we get to hold on to the hockey stick. <laughs> but it's fine. I was really hoping it would be more HP than that. Oh, wow. Yeah. Yep. Hmm. That last upgrade. Yeah, it's the same thing. Blah, 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 blah. Yeah. More enhancements. So do you want to go to Mexico? Clear yep. out the Keep going down the list. Americas? We could. Or we could move on. Because I'm liking this game. A little hard. I, I want to see what happens now okay. that you have magic. Okay, well, I think we always had magic. I just didn't realize that breaking the weapon was the spell. Oh, But that really? would explain... Yeah, exactly. Oh. It just wasn't immediately obvious. You just always thought it was a burst. Yeah, because that's how it started. Oh. Throw down some... Oh, look at that. Don't you see the logging equipment? Hmm... It's the jungles being torn down. Oh. Are those bombs? They look like bombs. Oh, you need a sword in order to get that open. Yeah, so this is where you want storage. Mm hmm. You want to have at least one of each weapon type, perhaps? Yeah, maybe. I think I'll hold off on the next upgrade so we can actually have like a decent supply of weapons. Maybe. Uh, okay. Yeah. Those are bombs. Because like an extra 50 HP helps. Ooh, that was close. What's that green glow? I think it's just a candle. Just a flame? Mm hmm. Spiders! Music's groovy. Yep, deflect. So that is that is the spell. You gotta break the weapon to cast said spell. Ah. But it seems worth it. It seems worth it to uh cast a spell right before a weapon breaks anyway. Because Otherwise, it's just squandered. Okay. Checking for secrets does not cost me durability. Oops. I was gonna be. Wow. That's obnoxious. Mm -hmm. I've never been a big fan of death pits. To be honest. Yeah, I it's interesting because how many I'm okay games... with it if it like just does damage to you. Well, one thing I never understood in games is that they give you so many opportunities to fall off things and die. When I think to myself, if one were to or I should say that they give you opportunities to fall off and there's no consequence to it. There are the games where there's no consequence and there's the games where it counts as a death in its entirety. And then there are also the ones that do take off a modicum of damage just to penalize you for falling off, but not to an extreme. And I don't really know which I'd prefer. If it's one of those things where if they make the pit with the intention of it causing damage then yes it should be there but if there's going to be no consequence then why have it there in the first place if 
only to just, what, waste a couple more seconds for you to respawn on land again? Yeah. It did seem, though, that you have four lives now, whereas before you had definitely gone down to three, correct? So is it just no. that you... Oh. Is it just that you always start with five? You always start with five. Personally, I would be perfectly fine with easy mode, just getting rid of the live system. If the enemies were still difficult, but you just yeah. didn't have lives to worry about? Yeah, that makes sense. And if, like, the upgrade system was just alternatively gave you more lives? I don't know. A couple of different ways that you could do it. But it's like, I understand why it is the way it is. It's just hard for me to personally enjoy it because I never grew up with this fully. I, I did with Mega Man, but Mega Man was friendlier? You could climb up the sides of death pits is, I guess, the main... Hmm. Admittedly, I never grew up with any kind of side-scrolling platform game. And mm -hmm. I know that we've talked about this every time you try to get me to play one. <laughs> I mean, I'm not, like, actively trying to convince you. Mm -hmm. most, most, most platformers are kind of rough. Most of the games that I had played were 3D, Adventure, Collectathon. I uh, think of, like, Banjo-Kazooie and Legend of Zelda when it was 3D on the Nintendo 64 and things of that nature. We never did finish Glover. That was a difficult game. Oh, oh d d d why did you, why didn't you wait for it to I go up? It. I just thought I could make it. That's the big issue. You should just wait for it to lift you up. I, I, I don't know why you're jumping from such a low, low altitude. There's any unsaved progress. What if that includes? Everything in my derb. Uh, I'm gonna try it. Let's see what happens. Do I lose all of the stuff in my in my stock? It's funny how that creature is some kind of dog griffin thing mm -hmm. that drops you. No, I got all my weapons. Why that handy? Time to start stocking up. And make up for the fact that I'm kind of terrible at platforming. I can get better at it. It's just not my thing. Oh, do you have a sword? Yep. Yeah. Apparently oh, actually, you're using the very same one. But yeah... Being able to farm for some extra weapons is actually going to be kind of huge. But yeah, I I almost feel like the best solution to a lot of these is just to have like a bunch of uh, accessibility options, if that makes sense. Mm -hmm. uh, so effectively, option, you know, no death pits. Uh, Oh, let's see, another option for... It's interesting, though, because then you have to wonder why create a, lo a level in a particular way to begin with. Well, I mean, still have it punish the players. You know, take some damage. It's just, uh... You would rather there be spike traps. Well, I I would just rather it, it do a little bit of damage mm -hmm. and not send me back to the beginning. And yeah, a lot of it is just the fact that, you know. Yeah, just wait. There we go. There you go. Kind of wish the double jump was not like a... What's to the right? Oh, it is a platform that moves. What's to the right? Danger. What is... Oh, I see. That's an indicator that she's going to strike. Swoop down from above. Yep. Another oh, flame hound. I am getting better at this. 
overall. So they're saying it was Halloween. And uh, uh, that it makes sense. As part of the superstition and the origin of Halloween, it was that that it was the what the thinnest the veil between the world of the living and the world of the dead. Yeah, becomes. probably. And some people equate it to also not just ghosts, but other mythological beings. Unless all of the creatures that are specifically coming through are, quote unquote, the spooks, as in the ones affiliated with death. So that would make sense for the Wendigo. And I suppose, like, Lilith being a demon, it, it, it would it would make sense for her, too. And it looks like the one that we're going to be fighting in this area... I don't know if he's some kind of Mayan death god, or if he's an ancient king, or undead know. being, but... Okay. I, I bet we're going to get some lore. There you go. Now you're using the swooping ability. Recharge the paladin. Wait, you're, you're at full health. Yeah, it's so. fine. Okay, I'm doing better. Let's see, it looks like a breakable wall at the bottom. Probably. It's hard, a little harder for me to care. What are you going to give up? Uh, the spears? Probably this one. I can get it back. I mean, it also doesn't matter too much. Oh, look at that tree with all the swords stuck in it. An axis? What's it supposed to be? I don't know. Looks ominous to me. Yeah, it looks like there's supposed to be something with that. That you're either supposed to be able to take something from it or even contribute to it? Yeah, I was thinking we'd add something to it, but... Why is it there? I don't know. Unless this is one of those games where you repeat levels after finding something that might in a be later the case. level that you have to use. There we go. Guy's a little jerk. Oh, that requires a hammer. Oops. Keep pressing the wrong button to get to my inventory. Okay. So. Um... There we go. Yeah, so I'm just gonna probably skip the next couple of upgrades just to keep like a. Oh, look at that. An archer at the ready. Yep. It's okay. I'm gonna kill the spider up here first, then we'll go down. I am actually really enjoying this. From like a design perspective, the only the only real complaint is death pits and maybe limited lives. But even then, knowing that I can just get extra uh Was there anything up there that you needed to find? Uh, it looked like there was something you could act no? Yep. I thought there are I probably see these doors and I think that you can enter them, but It's no. a fairly linear game. Fairly linear. Uh, so we have two options here. Oh. Go under and over. I see that's just health. But only accessible for her. Not really that big of a deal. I'll take it. Uh, but yeah, apart from the death pits and the limited lives, like, everything else about this is actually pretty fun. It's... It's certainly easier for me than, say, Shovel Knight was. Shovel mm -hmm, Knight was... Mm -hmm. I mean, you were there for that. <laughs> yeah, uh, yeah I, I was definitely the one falling into the pits and getting killed quite often, quite frequently. Yeah. By even the most minuscule things. Oh, another checkpoint. Is there something off to the left, though? You Up know, above that you can get to? I can double check. Nope. I don't know where the secrets are. They're just kind of random. There he is. Ah.
Mixlan Takurl. Or Tukulti? Or Tukutuli. Um, Tukutli. Maybe that's what it is at the end. Miktang Tukutli. He is just bullying me a bunch. I don't like it. Okay, so he summons hounds. He has this floating spear that he can direct at you. It seems to... Oh, and it's also releasing fireballs now. Sheesh. Can you sacrifice a weapon? Yeah. You've almost I... gotten him. Yeah, except for I... Uh... I pressed the get out button. Like a moron. Because, uh... like I said... They should... Uh, not to say that they should let you confirm. But yeah, ouch. I, I, yeah. Uh, I just. I mean, I, I was trying lives. to like move right, and I just pressed the get out button. It's like, oh come on. But yeah, he he also crowds you in a corner, which I'm not exactly used to. Most bosses give you space. can break his weapon. You don't want to ruin your heal weapon. Pro Gosh darn it. I do actually want to ruin my heal weapon. You want to be able to break it? Ow. I was trying to get it to the very end. Okay, you need a... You need to get some help back. Or oh, I just kill him. Or you just kill him. Yep. That wasn't a complex battle, per se. Uh, it's sort of. He just had less health than the other ones, and it was super easy to hit a bunch. Oh, hey, you got a spear. Yep. So he's just the god of death. Nothing else terribly fancy about him. Oh, gotcha. Right. Oh, okay. Well, that explains who he is. 